we sing songs in church? Maybe you've uh, been coming to West Town for a long time and, and like most people, you love the music during our worship service. Uh, or, or maybe you're, uh, you're someone who's never been to church before and you have no idea why we sing. But either way, we need, we need to talk about this. Um, it, it might be, especially for the, for the non-believer who's never come to church, you might come in there and find it strange that all of these people are standing around singing to God. Um, and so why do we do that? Well, the, well, the Bible commands it. Um, Psalm 96 says to sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth. So we're, we're all commanded to sing to God. Um, Paul in, in Ephesians 5, 19 says that uh, we should be addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. So, so we are commanded to do this during worship. And, and we don't really know exactly why that is, uh, other than I think it's part of being human to, to want to express certain things in song. And, and when they're in song, they're expressed better than if I'm just talking. Like, for instance, why do so many songs, why are so many songs about love, about loving another person? Well, when, when we feel so strongly about another person, sometimes the only way to express that is through a song. And uh, it just is able to come across as more meaningful. And so I think there are times for sure when we need to express the way we feel about the Lord and about who he is and all that he has done for us in a song, uh, because it is simply, it's more meaningful for us to sing something like a mighty fortress is our God than just to say it. Uh, and so that's, that's part of it. It is, it is a way that we express, like, like Paul says, we're making melody to the Lord with our hearts first and then with our voices. Uh, but, but one more thing I want to say about this. A lot of times we refer to uh, the singing in church as the worship. And that's true. Singing is worship. But is, is singing the only type of worship that there is? Like So in other words, when we go to a worship service, a lot of times we think, Okay, when we sing, that's when we're doing the worship. But everything else, the prayers, the Bible readings, the sermons, the benediction, the, the tithing, that's not worship. Well, that's not true. The Bible actually talks about even um, giving our very lives to God as a living sacrifice, as an act of worship. And so all of life can be worship. You can worship God by going to work and using the talents he's given you, uh, the work ethic he's given you to, to glorify him. You can worship God by sitting on a beach and enjoying the sunset and thinking, wow, what a magnificent creator we have. Uh, you can worship God in, in all sorts of different ways, as long as we're always directing praise to him where, it's, where it belongs. It's just that singing is a specific, even maybe a special way that we do worship God. And so, why do we sing? Well, it's because it's commanded, um, and it's because as Christians, because we know and we love the Lord and, and we are so thankful for all that he's done for us, we just have a desire to make a melody with our heart to the Lord.